I'm Maria Eugenia Sanchez. I work with the Marketing Research Office of, of the Panama Canal, and we do research of, of the main routes of the canal, the vessel types, and what potential there is for traffic in the near future. Uh, for us, uh, I'm focused in the dry bulk uh, segment, the dry bulkers are vessels that account for almost 20% of the tonnage that goes through the canal. And within the dry bulk the vessels, the grain traffic is very important. Uh, it, it accounts for uh, almost one third of the tonnage in dry bulkers. And the majority of that is U.S. Uh, grain coming yes, through. Yes, right? more than 90% of the grain that goes to the canal is origined in the U.S. And, and by grain you mean wheat, corn, uh, soybeans, soybeans and oil seeds as well. Exactly, okay. uh, all the varieties. Yeah, the, the uh, canal revenues uh, share around 6% of the GDP. So those revenues in one year are uh, that go to the central government are around $700 million is the profit that the canal generates and that, that, that goes into construction of hospitals, schools and so on. Uh, so the grain traffic is contributing with uh, around 6% of revenues, total revenues of, of the canal in one year. It's important, we follow that trade. Uh, in recent years it has been increasing due to more demand from China for soybeans. Uh, so it has been very positive for the canal. And, and I hope you continue. We thank uh, the grain producers. We have had a group here from the U.S. Grain Council that's establishing an office in Panama. And, and uh, we have uh, more information about future developments. And for us, it's very important because, as I mentioned, your revenues are good for us. When you look at the overall importance of the, the canal to Panama, the country, can you put that into perspective for us of how integral this is into the overall economy of Panama. Yes, the canal revenues are account for 6% of GDP and in terms of the exports, our, our economy is based on, on services, mostly services sector, so transportation in the canal is a service and it is more or less 20% of export services uh, are coming from the canal operation. Uh, when you, the, the canal and the U.S. Uh, is very important to the canal, and this canal is very important to the U.S. Could you talk a little bit about the, uh, the mutually beneficial? Uh, yes, the, the canal is positioned in, 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 in a way in that it saves, uh, in the main route that is from the U.S. East Coast to Asia is around 9,400 nautical miles compared to the Suez Canal or to the Cape of Good Hope that is like more than 15,000 miles. So it actually, we already have uh, captured the, the main uh, cargo that goes in that route in which we save this, uh, we are saving costs. So the U.S. is the main origin and destination for cargo going to the canal. It's around 67% uh, in terms of origin and destination in total. dead weight. The expanded lock would permit the vessels in terms of dead weight that could go uh, full uh, loaded uh, around 120,000 dead weight tons but it can also and, and in terms of the container vessel it, they, the capacity of vessels that could go through the new canal would be 12,000 TUs Compared to what we have in the existing canal, the maximum capacity more or less for a container is 4,000 TEUs. So, uh, the cap the, and also in terms of uh, the tanker and the dry bulkers could also have uh, 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 benefits from moving vessels that are partially loaded uh, and also it could be empty if it, uh, the route benefits from 
ballasting or repositioning of vessels in, in different routes. So it could go up to vessels of 170,000 dead weight tons because the size of the vessel, of the block, I'm sorry, would allow for these bigger vessels. So it would be a better economies of scale for the, you would have more cargo and, and, and you would save per unit of ton transported. It's roughly two and a half times the size that comes through now will be come through the new canal. Exactly. Probably my accent is not good. And no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, this uh, no, your uh, your accent's perfect. No, okay. Your, your English is, is far better than my Spanish. So. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, you. Uh, okay. There's no problem. Thank you then. Thank so you. So you.